what is up tubers howdy sorry for leaving you guys hanging last video and making it a part two it was just too long so i cut it into two parts sorry i know some of y'all <laughs> were really pissed at me i read the comments so Before I reveal my new hair to you guys, I just wanted to thank this week's sponsor, Vanity Planet, for sponsoring this video. And this is a great opportunity for me to cleanse myself before I show you guys my hair. So I'm gonna wash my face really quick. I just need to relax. Wow, what a difference does that make when I take my makeup off? <laughs> I feel like a naked bull rat. <laughs> I need to stop talking so negatively about myself. So I'm a beautiful naked bull rat. I'm stressed. So I'm gonna use my Explora from Vanity Planet. Look at this beautiful beast. It kind of looks like a vibrator, but it's not. It does vibrate, but it's for your face. It's a vibrator for your face. This is your personal microdermabrasion wand. And honestly, this just calms me down. <laughs> I'm using the normal head, but it comes with three other heads. There's the massage head. That one just feels amazing. It just has blood circulation going in your face. There's the fine, the body, if you want to get freaky. But I'm just going to use the normal one. What this does is it helps prevent and reduce acne by clearing away all your dead skin cells caused by impurities, clogged pores. I have a lot of clogged pores on my nose, so I'm going to go ham on my my nose. It can also help lighten the appearance of hyperpigmentation and acne scars. It promotes collagen production, helping to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. That's what I'm doing right here. I'm scared I'm gonna get a, what is it called? Crow's feet? My mom has those. <laughs> so I'll be going ham right here too. It is suitable for all skin types, so don't worry about that. And the LCD screen right here guides you through a quick four minute session and it tells you what to do with this little diagram right here. You see that little lady? She helps you through the whole process. Comes with a charger. Y'all can use the code SBCLEAN at checkout for a discount, or you can click the link in my description. SBCLEAN. Let's get clean, baby. Okay, now that I had a chance to relax and massage my face, let's see how I did on my hair. Okay, roll it. Roll it. Last week on Keeping Up With Sarah's overly dramatic video about bleaching her hair. Ah, it's the moment of truth. Well, kind of. I haven't toned my hair yet, but it'll give you a glimpse to see how we did. I'm scared. Oh. Um, what's going on here? Um, pretty orange grassy. It's, it's honestly not as bad as I thought. I definitely missed some spots. I also didn't tone it, so I'm not gonna freak out just yet. I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot splotchier than this. On this side, it's kind of darker. <laughs> this side is so much lighter than that side. Wow. Okay. It's okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. I don't know if I should tone it or just wait tomorrow and bleach it again, but I'm just gonna tone it, I guess. Right? Doesn't it take like a few sessions to make it super blonde? Like, don't I have to do this a few more times since my hair was brown? <coughs> oh God, that's strong. <coughs> Holy shit. <gasps> oh my God, this is so strong. What the fuck? <coughs> oh God, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I literally feel like nothing happened. It's like gonna be a light brown. <laughs> it's looking the same. Now we wait again. Putting a trash bag on my head, gonna let it sit, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I just washed the toner out, and I'm honestly just so confused. I'm very confused. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna dry and it's gonna be light brown. I know for sure that I'm gonna do it again tomorrow because I want it to be like platinum. Not like platinum, but like a really light blonde. I'm not gonna blow dry my hair because I already did enough damage, so I'm gonna let it air dry, and when it's done air drying, then I'll come back and show you guys. But I know I'm gonna be calling Sally's tomorrow and I'm gonna order more shit. It's a process. We're gonna figure it out, fam. We're gonna figure it out. See you in a second. Y'all, I'm kind of freaking out. 
I am kind of freaking out. It's the next day. I thought the toner was really gonna help, but it didn't really help. I'll show you guys. It's not bad. This is definitely like first stage. I wish the lighting was better. Very brassy. I know that when I just do it one more time, it'll get to the color that I'm searching for. I woke up today and I called Sally's Beauty. I guess Sally's, all Sally's Beauty is closed because of the coronavirus. And I literally almost had a panic attack. I know it's stupid, it's just hair, but this is not it. This ain't it. And I found this one website. It looked kind of sketch, like the website didn't look that professional, so I was kind of apprehensive about buying stuff from there. But I'm desperate, bitch. And I ordered all the products that I need. Thankfully, they had everything in stock. Hopefully, this isn't a scam. And I did the express shipping, the next day shipping, which was really expensive, but I can't, I can't. <sighs> Hopefully it gets here tomorrow. I'm trying to stay positive. It's just hair, you know, but I'm just hoping that I get these products soon so I can fix this. And my hair is already so damaged, I can feel it. So I'm just kind of like, what the fuck did I just do? Why did I do that? It's gonna be okay. I'll update you guys when I get the products in the mail, hopefully tomorrow. God, okay. Hey guys, um, it's like three days later and I finally got my products in the mail. <sighs> I was scammed. I was scammed. Remember that sketchy website I told you guys that I ordered the product from? I don't think it was real um, because I checked my email the next day and that company sent me an email and they were like, hey, we just received your order but you need to verify a few things. Um, so if you could take a picture of the front and the back of your credit card, that would be great. Also, if you could send us a picture of your ID and like your address and all your shit, then that would be great. And that freaked me out because the email spelled some words wrong. Like it just didn't seem like a professional of a company typing that out. And I didn't want to send them a picture of my credit card. You know what I mean? I didn't like that. Cause I'm like, I gave you my credit card info to order the stuff. Why are you asking again? So I'm just gonna go with the narrative that I got scammed. <laughs> I was like telling Christelle about that and she was like, why don't you just order it from Sally's? And I'm like, yeah. So I went to Sally's and I ordered all the shit, but then it said it wouldn't get here in like a week. And I'm like, I don't have a week. I already put out the video <laughs> and I need to follow up because you guys are already mad at me that I don't have a part two. Then I saw expedited shipping and I'm like, okay, two to three days, that's cool. My shit just got here and I'm excited about it. I still am kind of pissed that I got scammed and I wasn't woke enough to just go on Sally's. Anyway, I'm ready to get started. After a few days and after washing it again with purple shampoo, I realized that I did a good job and I was just really stressed the next day because it wasn't the color that I wanted. For the first stage, I think I did really well. Also, oh my God, my hair is gonna be a nightmare because I slept in a bun. Oh my God. What is this? I look like Shirley Temple. Or I look like one of the lions from Tiger King. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Wow, I just got a perm. Okay, kind of a look though. This is kind of pretty. Hang on. But anyway, I did not do that bad with the blending. And all of you guys were commenting on my video like, somebody get Brad Mondo or whoever. I don't even know who that is. And I was stressed because y'all, everybody was tagging Brad. Who's Brad? I guess he's like a hairstylist that judges people who bleach their hair from home. But Brad, come at me. Yes, I was doing all the techniques wrong because I'm not a hairstylist, but the blending isn't terrible. So come at me, Brad. What do you gotta say? I'm an amateur. I never said that I was good at this. I was just so stressed. Literally every other comment was like, Brad Mondo entered the chat. And I'm like, why is he entering the chat? And then I looked him up and I'm like, okay, he's a hairstylist, but I am not one. Don't make fun of me, Brad. I'm trying my best. I got my wine and my electrolytes. <sighs> All right. <laughs> yep, it's happening. So what have 
have I been up to these last three days since we talked? <laughs> Well, the other night I had a mental breakdown because I went on Twitter and the hashtag 30 days was trending and I was like 30 days till what? And I clicked on the hashtag and I guess that we have to stay in quarantine for 30 more days minimum And then I saw someone quote that and they were like Sucks to not be a gamer I was like, you know what? Yeah, it does kind of suck not to be a gamer because Christelle has a twitch Twitch? Switch? I think it's Switch. I always say Twitch. She has a Switch and she's always playing that shit. And like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it, like. But I don't have a Twitch. And she's just playing Animal Crossing. Is that game fun? But I'm like, I don't want a Twitch right now. I wanted an Xbox. After I saw that tweet, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to send it. Now is the time to start my gaming career. <gasps> Or my gaming identity? I don't know. I went on Amazon and I bought a fucking Xbox One. <laughs> Getting an Xbox could be my reward for all the shit that I did during the day. All the growing that I had to do, all the journaling and the meditations and the ab workouts. An Xbox, a little Xbox journey would be a great reward at the end of the day. And then once I purchased the Xbox, I was like, I need games. But what kind of games? Like, I don't know what kind of games I want to play, you know? And there's so many. Like, I don't really want to play Fortnite. I like watching people play Fortnite, but I don't want to play it, you know? I would get way too stressed out. And I don't want to be stressed. So yeah, then my ass is like, what kind of games do I want to play? What am I interested in? I go on Google.com and I type with pride in the Google search bar. Oh my God. Xbox One game that women would like. <laughs> what? Why? When I pushed the search button, I literally said aloud, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Why did I have to type that? And of course, all of these misogynistic websites come out being like, if you're a girl, you gotta play these games. And it was all like fucking My Little Pony, stupid shit, like Disney World virtual reality. Meet your favorite princesses and Disney stars. And I'm like, I don't, that's not what I meant. What? I'm not 12. And then I found this one article and it was like, if you're a woman and you want to start playing video games, these are the ones that you need to try. And I'm like, okay. I was noticing that every single game that they recommended, it was like an emotional game <laughs> with like a story. And I think that that's what I wanted. You know, I just don't want to shoot shit and kill people. I want to be connected to my game and learn something from it. And there was this one game, it's called A Way Out. Basically, it's about these two guys who are in prison and it's a two player game, like you have to have another person. It's like a split screen. So you and the person that you're playing with have to figure out how to get out of prison. I was reading the reviews and a lot of them were women and they were like, I'm a girl gamer and I played this with my boyfriend and after we finished the game, we've never been closer. And I was like, that is what I want. You can either play it at your different homes or you can play on the same couch or whatever. So I bought it. And then the other game that I got, <laughs> I was laughing so hard at the reviews. I guess it's called Life is Strange. And it's about these angsty teenagers. And I'm like, oh my God, count me in. I'm there. You're in the body of this angsty teen girl. And you're faced with all of these challenges with like family, friends, boys. And you have to like, I don't even know what the fucking game's about. But you just have to like go throughout this girl's life and like manage all of her problems and shit. And I'm like, yep, <laughs> download, <laughs> literally bought that. And I was reading the reviews and it was like, this is such a beautiful emotional game and the story is so amazing. I feel so connected to my character, but just one little thing I would change. And I was like, oh my God, what is it gonna be? And then they were like, the characters say hella way too much. They say hella every other word and I can't take it. I wanna blow my brains out. And I was like, oh my God, count me the fuck in. But yeah, I'm excited about my new gaming journey. What else is new with me? Oh, I started a book club on my Patreon and you guys are liking it so far. The whole book is so, 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 so good. It teaches you how to love your body and how to love your mind and how to connect the two of those things together and love both at the same time. Since your body and mind is actually one thing and you guys are saying that it's really helping you right now. So if you guys wanna come along and join Baska's book club, <laughs> that's what I named it, then follow me 
on Patreon. I'll link the link below. What else is new? Oh, my boyfriend dropped his first single. <laughs> it's called Fistful of Condoms. Will lives with a music engineer and they have their own recording studio in their house. It was his first day in LA, his first day moving in with his roommates. He was kind of settling in, like drinking with them. And his roommate was like, just hop in the booth, just start singing some shit over this beat. Just sing about anything. Will, off the top of his dome, came up with Fistful of Condoms. He's not being serious. If you know Will's sense of humor, you know he's just fucking around. It it turned out really, really catchy. He showed it to me and I already had like a music video idea in my head because that's how my brain works. We rented out this bougie hotel room in Hollywood and I guess a lot of famous people have stayed there. Just so many rock stars in the 70s and 80s. And obviously there was alcohol involved because I wanted it to look like an actual party scene. So they were all just getting drunk, like taking shots. I obviously wasn't drinking because I'm the one filming it. And they all got so fucked up. It was so hard to like keep everyone's attention like they just kept forgetting that we were filming a music video because it was such genuine fun I didn't want to be a bitch and I wanted them to like have fun, but I'm like y'all we have to do this take again Sit down! Sit down! But it turned out really, really well. I'm super proud of it. It slabs. You guys should go over to Will's YouTube channel and watch that video. I make an appearance. I may have made out with Willie during one of the scenes and given him a lap dance, but it's cool. There's like an ass grabbing scene and I was filming Will's ass and I'm like, Jess, Christelle, grab his ass, shake it around. The behind the scenes footage is so funny because it's just me yelling at my friends being like, touch his chest. And my friends were like, are you sure? And I'm like, just do it. It's for the art. So go check that out. Leave a comment. Give Willie some love because he was so proud of that song. <laughs> All right, y'all. Now we wait and I'll come back to you when I wash it off. Oh my god, y'all, she's been cooking. As you can see right here, she is blonde. From what I can see, I don't think I blended it that well in the front, so I'm kind of nervous. I might have to go again and just go all the way to the root in the front, because I did not blend that well up here. But over here, it's not that bad. But holy shit, she's light. Oh shit. Oh shit. I really did it. Let's see how your girl did. Round two. Oh. My God. Oh my God. No fucking way. This isn't me. Who is this? Okay, let's, uh, let's break this down. I went really hard on this side because last time I barely gave any love to this side. But there's some spots that I missed. Back. There's some darker pieces down here, but that's fine. I was kind of just more worried about the blending. I don't think it's that bad. Is it? I can't tell. I can't tell ya. I went really high on this one strand, but that's it. Shit. You know what? I'm proud of the color. I know that with the toner, it's gonna look really good, but I definitely need to touch up some spots. It's like a straight line. And then over here, there's some more depth underneath. Yeah, I need to like go again. But hey, let's tone my hair and we'll figure that out later. Wow. So I'm gonna get my color charm in T18. Oh my God, the stench. <laughs> Oh my god. <coughs> god, why is that? Why is that so strong? Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. Oh, it's awful. Y'all, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I was supposed to mix it with developer. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I am. Oh my god. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. How did I just forget? How did I just forget to do that? Sorry, y'all. I had some wine. Oh my god. My bad, sorry. Okay, now Brad Mondo, I give you permission to kill me. I give you permission, man. Holy shit, I'm so sorry, Brad. It'll never happen again. I'm mixing right now, Brad. 
Okay, let's try that again. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that didn't happen. Okay, I think I got every inch of my hair and I'm gonna trash bag her up. What a mess. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let her cook and I'll come back to you guys with the final result. Peace. Before I show you my new hair, I'm kind of pissed. I'm kind of pissed because right after you saw me bleaching it the second time just now, that was yesterday. I didn't film myself with that done because I was looking at it and I was like, okay, there's a few little things I wanna tweak, but I love it, okay? I really, really, really liked it. So I didn't film that part because I wanted to like tweak it a little bit and then show you and pretend like that was the result. And it looked so bomb. It was like a beautiful silver and I still had some like brown and it faded into it perfectly, but there was like a few spots in the roots that I just wanted to touch up a little bit. So I don't have any footage of it looking bomb. Um, I took a picture and I sent it to my friends. So this is what it looks like. Super bomb, that's like exactly what I wanted. Just wanted to tweak it today. So I went to tweak it today and I didn't film it because again, I just wanted to pretend like that was the final result but I tweaked it too much. Well, I think I accidentally went really high on a couple strands and I'm like, fuck, I can't have just like two strands being higher than the others. So I went and I bleached my whole head higher up to the root. So like most of my hair is blonde now. My roots are kind of yellow, even after the toner. So I'm gonna show y'all, but like, don't mind the roots. We'll get into that when I show you. Okay, let's, let's do it. <laughs> April Fools, I'm not that cruel. All right, let's do it. Who is she? Who is this? It feels like I'm wearing a wig. This is real and I'm kind of stressed because I love the color on the bottom. I think I did an amazing job on the bottom for not being a hairdresser, but it's just the fucking roots that I'm stressed about. Do you see how it's like pretty yellow on the top? Even after the toner, like my roots in the front are like orange and then over here is dark. I'm like, should I just send it and do my whole head? Even though I wanted to have it dark up top and have it blend, but I think that I kind of fucked that up. Should I use toner again and put it over the yellow and see if that like makes it lighter and not so yellow? Hairstylists or hair experts hit me up. Um, and if you're Brad, please don't roast me. It's just these damn roots. I don't know like what to do differently because I really didn't want to send it and do the whole blonde head but I'll try to like move it around so you guys can see better should I just put more purple shampoo should I bleach the top again should I just bleach the roots again but still have it dark on the very top I don't fucking know please help me cuz I need to let my hair breathe and I'm not gonna put shit on my hair for like a whole week so I'm just gonna like let this shit breathe it's not as damaged as I thought it was gonna be it was really damaged on the bottom but then I kind of cut the bottoms off so I gave myself a little haircut but yeah it's really really cute when I put my hair like in a top bun where you don't see my roots <laughs> okay yeah like see she's cute with it pulled up in a high bun kind of but my damn roots man i don't know what to do about it this is so weird uh please comment below let me know what i need to do and i will do that asap but i'm a blondie now and I'm proud of myself, damn it. I am proud of myself. This could have gone so south. Damn it, I did entertain myself. It gave me something to do, something to worry about, something to focus on. <laughs> Let me know if you guys liked it. Thank you for going on this journey with me. And happy quarantine, baby. This is what we're doing. <laughs> Cheers to that. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Just last week you called me The way you're talking is driving me insane Hello